Victoria wants to be alone. I'm not going to disturb her. no idea where the key could be. I should ask Victoria. I know I should leave Victoria alone, but I must ask her about the key to William's study in the tower. I have nothing to look for in these drawers. It most likely contains Victoria's personal things. I won't be opening it. One of my distant ancestors, Dugham Gordon. This canvas is at least 300 years old. Strange that time has not faded it. Dugham Gordon. An old issue of a magazine on nature, Nature Will. I haven't the time to read now. In the past, we used to have our own stable of full-blooded stallions. Some of them won many races. All that fame is long lost now. A souvenir of one of our champion horses. Victoria, I know you want to be alone, but I must ask you about something that only you can answer. May I speak with you for a while, Victoria? Maybe it will help to get some fresh thoughts. Memories can become so tiring. During the last few years, I have had plenty of time with my thoughts. What is it that you want to talk about, Samuel? Victoria, why was William hiding away in his study? No one saw him go outside, and he would not let anyone in. Why all the secrecy? I don't know, Samuel. About half a year ago, he closed himself in that damn tower and spent whole days and nights there. He never told me what he was doing. When I asked, he merely stated that he was looking for the truth and that he would not stop until he found it. It entirely absorbed him, and you know how it ended. I hope that he has found his truth. I hoped I would not have to return to this place ever again. And even now, I'm not sure if I should have. I did not dare hope you would come. The letters to you were all returned, and no one from the family had seen you in years. As time passed, we assumed you were dead. I didn't open a single one of them. I wanted to forget it all. Only that morning letter. 
I had to open that one. Maybe I should have left it unread, like the other ones. Your words are cold, Samuel. If it hadn't been for William's death, I would have never returned. I returned because of William only. I don't expect you to understand it. Bates isn't looking well. He's old and very tired. He should take a rest. I would suggest that to him myself, but I know he does not want to be alone right now. He and William were friends long before I knew him. He has worked here all his life, just like his father before him. He feels comfortable to be with us, I am sure. That person who was with us at the funeral, who is he? Dr. Herman, our family physician. But it would be more accurate to say, our family friend. I had never heard of him. Well, how could you? He moved here long after you had gone away. He's a good man. He was a friend to William and has helped us a good deal. Until William began avoiding people, they were often together. Why are you interested in Heinz? I don't know him, so I wanted to know who he is. Do you need anything, Victoria? No, thank you, Samuel. I am all right. Maybe just... No, you needn't worry. I'll ask Bates. That new gardener, Henry. I've heard he drinks. He is not new here. He has been working for us for over a year now. What you have heard is true, but it does not happen very often. Except for that particular habit, he is polite and hard-working. I'm surprised you're saying this. Does his drinking not bother you? Well, I do, but I would have trouble finding anyone else for the job. Replacing him with a new gardener couldn't possibly be a problem, could it? Maybe not a few years ago, but now... You haven't been here in a long time. A lot has changed, Samuel. No one wants to work for us, not after what happened. People are superstitious. They see dark forces in everything. I'm glad that he has stayed, even if my garden looks so miserable. But why are you asking about Henry? Is it that you know something about him that I should know too? No, not really. Morris said Henry acts strangely from time to time. Morris? That hardly surprises me. He is strange himself. If I had someone to take over his job, he wouldn't be here now. That reminds me. I ordered him to board up the old well so there is no possibility of an accident there. Samuel, would you please see to it that he does it today? Of course. Look at this stone fragment. Does it mean anything to you? No, I wouldn't say so. But yes, I have seen something similar on William's desk. He was very careful with that thing. Only I don't know what the big deal was. He never spoke about it. I spoke with Robert about the old wing. He said its walls were the only remnants of the original castle. That is true. It is all that survived the burn. I do not recall anyone that had conquered the castle in the past. No one conquered it, at least not in the true sense of the word. The castle was half destroyed in a conflict between the first Gordons. Marcus knew he could not rise against his brother's people directly. Therefore, he decided to take him by surprise in the secret chapel deep under the castle. Mordred realized this too late and the consequences were terrible. But those are merely old legends. Just old stories. That secret chapel you have spoken of, it must be somewhere beneath us. Nobody has ever found a trace of the entrance, let alone the whole chapel, Samuel. It's merely an old legend from the Chronicle. What happened to Marcus after Mordred died? He became the lord of the manor and died a long time later, a tired old man. As a tribute to his leadership, they buried him in a secret crypt. Today no one knows where his body rests. 
Do any further records of his life still exist? None that I know of. Victoria, I need the key to William's study. I know that you insist that no one go in there, but... No one is allowed to set foot in there. Why are you talking about that place to me, Samuel? Why are you making me think of it? I just wanted... Go away. I need to be alone now. Of course. I should leave Victoria alone, now that I have offended her. I'll apologize later. Morris, I would like a word with you. What do you need, sir? Morris, what are you going to do when you're finished with the wood? I don't know yet, but there's always enough work around here. Have you got anything special for me? Victoria would like the old well boarded up. I know about that, sir. I'll get to it shortly. I will go then. All right, sir. Bates, I would like a word with you. I'm listening, sir. Bates, I said something inappropriate to Victoria. Do you think she will accept my apology? Certainly, sir. Madam has a good heart. But if I may advise you, sir, offer your apology as soon as possible. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. Should apologize. May I speak with you for a while, Victoria? Of course, Samuel. I'd like to apologize for what I said before. I may have been hasty in my response as well. I had that key destroyed so that no one can ever enter the tower again. Maybe William had another key, I do not know. Where are his personal belongings now? I do not know, I... Ask Herman. I do not want to talk about it. Can you have a look at this picture? Do you know who this man is? Hmm. I've seen that face before. Yes. But not exactly this one. What do you mean? He was much younger than this picture, but it was the same person. So, who is it? William once brought an orphan here and offered him food and shelter for a couple of days. He lived for a time outside by the stable, a humble, quiet boy. Do you know what his name was? It was a very long time ago, 
I cannot remember. He stayed with us for quite some time. But then he completely changed. It was as if he had gone mad. We could not let him stay here after that. They took him to Ashbury. What happened to him then? I really do not know. As I said, it was a very long time ago. Robert might remember. It was he who accepted that boy as a patient. Doctor, can I have a word with you? Yes, all right. Dr. Herman, Victoria told me you had William's personal belongings. Yes, that is true. I would like to see them. Sure, I can show them to you when you come to the morgue tomorrow. I just do not have any idea what you are expecting. Well, I must see them today. Can you help me? Today? Well, all right. Maybe we could do it like this. I will send someone to the main gate with a parcel for you. Will that do? Perfectly. What time will this person come? I will send him as soon as I get back to the autopsy room. Let us say seven o'clock. I'll be waiting in front of the main gate at exactly seven o'clock. It's very important. I hope the person is reliable. Do not fear. He will be well paid. Settled? Thank you, Doctor. At seven, I have to be in front of the gate. Anything, sir? Hmm? Not really. I was just passing by. Do you need anything, Samuel? I would like to ask about something. Why doesn't Victoria like Morris? You mean why she can't stand him? Well, maybe because he is so common. Aristocratic prejudice, you know what I mean. I'm not into this nonsense about blue blood myself. Victoria, however, has her own opinions. I showed the picture we talked about yesterday to Victoria. She said she knew the man, that he had lived for some time near the castle. Are you sure you don't know who he is? Let me see the picture again. I'm not quite certain, but he resembles one of my patients in the institution. It could possibly even be him. I do not see where this picture could have come from, though. Maybe we can find out. Who could have brought a picture of some madman to the castle? And why? I must go now. Right then. I'll return to my work. Robert didn't have lunch with us. He just had something brought in here.
Victoria, may I talk to you? Please, excuse me, Samuel. I'm not quite in the mood for talking. If you need anything, please ask Bates. He will be happy to help you. Of course. I can come back later. I'll ask again another time. Chocolate sweets with... I have... No letter. Don't know what. Anything, sir? Hmm? Not really. I was just passing by. Its water used to be crystal clear. I'll leave him to his work. We've already... Victoria is in the common room. Herman promised that his delivery boy would bring William's parcel to the main gate at exactly seven o'clock. I have to be there on time.
I don't want to leave. There is nothing in it. locked. I only had a couple of things and an old camera in it as far as I recall. But where did I keep the key? I'll have a look around the room. It has to be here somewhere. It's cold in here. I'll tell Bates to light up the fireplace. The room is quite cold.
It's locked. I cannot see there. It's too high. I'll try reaching up there. There is something there. The key to my drawer. I knew it had to be somewhere in the room. It should still work. There's no film in it, and my old films are useless. They're too old to be used. My holy Bible. I need to speak with you, Robert. Sure. I need film for my camera. Do you know where I can get some? Well, perhaps down in Willow Creek. But hold on, I think I may have a couple of rows myself. They should probably still be usable. Can you give me one? I would be happy to. But I put them in the attic with some other old things. It is in my chest. That's the one right round the corner. You'll have no problem finding it. Thank you. I'll go pick it up. Sure. Take all the film you need. I have no use for it. I went to the attic to get that film, but your chest is locked. May I borrow your key? Locked? Oh, I have entirely forgotten about that. Sorry. Here's the key. Thank you. I'll bring it back. You needn't hurry. I use it so infrequently. I must go now. Right then. I'll return to my work. Hopefully, it's going to work. I don't need anything else from it. But I guess the film is installed properly. All I need to do now is have the film developed. But where do I get it developed?
I leave him to it. Now it works as it should. I would like to ask you about something, Bates. I'm at your service, sir. Bates, could you please light up the fireplace in my room? It's quite cold in there. Oh, pardon this old servant, sir. I had completely forgotten about it. I will be happy to light up your fireplace. Also, if you need the room cleaned up properly, Please say so. It was abandoned for over 12 years, and one hasty cleanup is insufficient? No, the room is all right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. May I disturb you for a few moments? I would like to ask a couple of questions. All right. I'm listening. Here's your key back, Robert. Oh, thanks. Have you found what you needed? Yes, I have. Robert, do you know where I can get that film you gave me developed? Hmm. I only know of Murray in... Willow Creek. I go to him myself when I need some pictures developed. He has a dark room in his pawn shop. Do you know where it is? Yes, I remember that shop. Try him. I guess I should go there. I must go now. Right then. I'll return to my work. Yesterday morning, how many years have I actually been? 